War Diary, day 276 of Vladimir Putin's war. Winter isn't just coming, it's come. So how does the, the cold affect the war? Well, first off, it's simple. If Ukrainians stop fighting, then Ukraine doesn't exist. If Russia stops fighting, they just go home. There'll still be a Russia. So in a very simple way, soldiers that are motivated to fight are also motivated to look after themselves and each other. There's a chain of command which is open to reason and common sense. All of that is good. So I don't see um, how uh, Ukrainian soldiers are going to get terrible cases of hypothermia or trench foot. I've seen the pictures from Bakhmut. It looks like the Somme. But the Russian soldiers, nobody's looking after them. There isn't a, a logical or reasonable chain of command and at the top. The leader is bad in both sense of the word. Bad in terms of the sense of incompetence, not caring about his people, and bad in the sense of evil. So I've been to Ukrainian trenches, and I've been to some trenches the Russians abandoned too. Both with well done, deep, I'm six foot-ish, almost six foot, and um, cover for, for, for me and both, but, the Russian trenches were just mud and there was an awful lot of rubbish. They weren't looking after themselves or their home. Ukrainian trenches, it had wooden panelling. There was a place where the boys could sleep. There was even a kitchen. So I think when General Winter comes to the war, Ukrainians will look after each other and the Russian soldiers will die. Whether that affects the monster in the Kremlin we shall see and whether the loss of more and more Russian lives begins to tell on Putin's popularity again we shall see all we can do is hope and help our Ukrainian friends Vladimir Putin fuck off